Hi everyone, today I'm going to be doing a New Year's Eve makeup tutorial and I tweeted a while ago saying even though I'm not going out for New Year's, would you guys like to see a tutorial? And most of you said yes. So here it is, this is the look that I'm doing. I am actually going to a friend's house for New Year's Eve. We do like a house party every year and we swap. This year we're doing fancy dress and it's famous couples. I'm not gonna say who me and Rich are going as because I don't wanna ruin it, but follow me on Twitter or Instagram and I'm sure there'll be a photo. It's gonna be hilarious. So I won't look like this on New Year's Eve, but I thought for some of you who are going out, you might want like a nice elegant party look and I really like this makeup. It's kind of contoured, glowy skin with a very simple, basic golden eye and a really dark, intense, like purpley plum lip. So I really hope you enjoy the tutorial and I'm gonna start again with a bare face and show you how I got this look. So the first thing I've done off camera is scrub my lips because they're really dry and flaky at the moment just because of the time of year and the cold weather. So I've used the Pixie Nourishing Lip Polish, which is quite cool because it has an exfoliator on the applicator. And I'm just gonna put on a bit of lip balm now so that by the time I get to my lips, they should no longer be dry. Okay, lip balm on. And I don't really know what I'm doing today, but I'm just, I've never really done this specific look before, but I'm just gonna go with the flow and hopefully it'll be very New Year's eve -y. I'm gonna start with a little bit of Charlotte Tilbury's Magic Cream. This is a mini sample I got in my advent calendar, and this is just gonna really hydrate my skin because it's really dry at the moment, and I find that by the time I go to apply my makeup, the moisturizer that I put on in the morning is never quite enough, so this is like a nice layer. And then I'm gonna apply a really small amount of the Makeup Forever smoothing primer. This is a tiny sample that I got in a Christmas set and I'm just going to apply that where I want to smooth the skin. This is slightly skin toned, this primer. So I'm just going to put it on the side of my nose. This should help the makeup to last longer as well. The foundation I've chosen to use is the Burberry one just because it's really glowy. It is slightly lightweight in formula for my kind of spotty skin that I have at the moment but I really like the finish and I don't want anything too heavy. So I'm going to be using the Burberry one. The shade I use is okra nude i think that's is it the okra or okra i don't really know so i'm just gonna kind of apply that to where i want it on my cheeks nose a tiny bit on my forehead and then just start blending that out i can always layer more on top if i need it it is a really sheer foundation as i said it just gives the skin such a pretty glow that it's worth spending a bit of time just layering it up to the coverage that you want. So now I've blended that in, I'm just gonna apply a little bit more to my chin, and a little bit more to the to my nose area as well. And then just like pat that into the skin. I love this foundation, but it's become really hard to get hold of. Burberry have stopped selling in John Lewis and Selfridges, and I think you can only get it online or in their Burberry stores, and there aren't many of those. So that's a little bit annoying. As my foundation is still wet, I'm gonna take this opportunity to apply a bit of liquid highlighter. This is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Opal, and I'm just gonna use my fingers to tap a tiny bit on the tops of my cheekbones. And this will just blend in really nicely with my foundation. And it'll just look like part of my skin. Add some really nice, like, luminosity. I'm kind of in between all different concealers at the moment. I haven't got one that I absolutely love or one that is a great colour match for me. So I'm going to be using a couple of different concealers. The first one is from Charlotte Tilbury. It's the Retoucher in number two. And this is a slightly lighter one. So I use it in the inner corners and the outer corners just to lighten up where it's really dark. This is a really sheer concealer. So I tend not to kind of blend it too hard, just tap it lightly. And then I'm gonna use my Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer, which is a little bit too dark for me, but I'm just gonna apply a little bit of that under the eye, down the nose. Because I bronze up my skin, I can kind of get away with it being a bit too dark. Okay, I'm gonna leave the concealing there, and the next thing I'm gonna do is just powder a little bit of the skin. I like the glow on the cheeks, but just down the center of the face, I'm gonna be using the Laura Mercier Loose Powder, which I really like at the moment. I just kind of shake it up, and then take a tiny amount of product and swish it around in the lid. I also like to use one of these duo fiber brushes, because then you don't take too much product. I don't wanna to look too powdery. And I just like to put that under the eye, on top of the eyes as well slightly around the nose and on the chin. Okay, so the base is done, but I'm looking a little bit pale, so I'm just gonna bronze up my skin, obviously using my Soap & Glory Solar Powder Bronzer. I love this bronzer. I'm just gonna do it how I usually do, just around the edge of the face. Very natural bronze, nothing too intense. But then what I'm also gonna do is contour a little bit, just using the Kevin Aquan Contour Powder. I'm gonna take a really small amount and just very lightly 
blend it under my cheekbones. And that just gives a little bit more shape to the face. Before I do my brows, I'm just going to put on a little bit of blusher. This is Tarte Exposed, and I like this because I'm going to be wearing quite a dark lip, so this is quite subtle. Just gives a nice kind of soft, plummy colour to the cheeks. This is the Bobbi Brown Sheer Powder Brush, and it applies the perfect amount. Okay, brow time, and I'm just filling them in with the Anastasia Brow Wiz, just a little bit at the front and on the arches. And then to set them in place, I'm going to use this clear brow gel that I actually got in Vienna. It's from a brand called Look. Look by Bipper. Oh, it's Bipper's own brand. I really like this, actually. I'm just running that through my brows just to set them, slightly brushing them upwards. I actually really need to get my brows um, threaded quite badly. Okay, using another product that I picked up in Vienna, this is a nude eyeliner that you just put inside your eye just to brighten the eyes. It makes you look more awake and I think it will go really nicely with this look. This is from a brand called Catrice and this is actually a really good dupe for the Tarte eyeliner. The packaging and everything is really similar. The Tarte one is slightly softer to apply, um, but this one's pretty good. So I'm just going to apply it to the inner part of my eye here. I know it looks really weird, but it really makes you look more awake, it just more awake. It just makes the redness skin toned. For my eyeshadow, I'm going to keep things pretty simple and just use one eyeshadow. This is new to me. It's the Burberry Pale Barley Eyeshadow. Anna and so many other YouTubers love it and have loved it for years. I don't know why I haven't picked it up, but Burberry's kind of hard to find. But I got it and I really like it. It's a bit like MAC Patina. It's just like a sheer, kind of cool toned gold. And it's really pretty, so I'm just going to wash that all over the lid. It's a very pretty eyeshadow, definitely worth picking up. Apply it to the other lid. And then I'm using a small brush to also apply that slightly underneath the eye, just to balance it out. I'm not going to apply any eyeliner or any other eyeshadow in the crease or under the eye, because I think when you put on lots of mascara and a dark lip, it can look really fresh and pretty. So I'm gonna apply my mascara, which is the Tarte Gifted Mascara. I think this is a new bottle. And this is a really good mascara for volume. It's got quite a big brush, which I know not everyone is a fan of, but look at that, it does amazing things to my lashes. Okay, top lashes done. I'm gonna leave the bottom lashes without any mascara on and just make sure all my lip balm is rubbed in. I'm gonna start by using a lip liner. This one is from Clinique and it's a really pretty shade. It's called Intense Licorice. Um, the lipstick that goes with this, I think is a little bit too creamy for New Year's Eve. So I am going to just use their lip liner and then use a Tom Ford lipstick. I'm just going to line the lips. It's like a really deep purple. Okay, so I've lined the lips, looking good. And then I'm going to put on a lipstick. And I'm going to start with just the Tom Ford um, Black Dahlia. But if I feel like it's a bit too dark, I might mix it with a red. But I'm going to start with Black Dahlia. And I think I'm going to use a lip brush. Just so it doesn't go on too strong and I have a bit more control over the colour. I really like applying lipstick with a lip brush. Okay, now I'm gonna apply it a bit straight from the bullet. That's the lipstick. I like it, it's really dark and daring and bold, but I think you just have to go for it. So I'm gonna leave the look there. It's a little bit vampy, but I think it's perfect for New Year's Eve, and I really like kind of simple, basic eye with a really dark, intense lip. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a really fun and safe New Year's Eve, and I'll see you in the new year. Bye. Bye.